the shower, where the peak of musicality is witnessed and one thing no one can resist. Humming that one song you can't get out of your head because it's stuck there and you can't stop thinking about it. Cool. And so the question is, what is wrong with us? No, scrap that. Why do songs get stuck in our heads? Well, to answer that, we need to understand how your brain works. Your brain is quite nostalgic, which is to say you associate each emotion with a song. This is why you loop songs like Heartbreak Anniversary when you feel sad and Happy when you feel happy, which I explained in depth in another video, but this is why certain songs just endlessly loop in our heads when we feel a certain way. So a song with a strong emotion equals sticky. But this is also why the McDonald's jingle is never stuck in our heads, because we don't really feel any emotion from it. Or happy birthday, unless it was the worst birthday ever where no one you invited came to your party. Your brain links emotions to music. So if a song was playing during a breakup or that embarrassing moment in 7th grade, expect it to haunt you forever. No refunds. Your brain is basically a DJ with a broken shuffle button. When you hear a song, it gets processed by the auditory cortex, the part of your brain that processes and remembers sound. But if a song is enjoyable and catchy enough, something strange happens. It loops yourself. Because your brain has the self-control level of a toddler and can't resist revisiting something that makes you happy. This is also why the superior temporal gyrus tells you to loop Bruno Mars for the 67th time in a row because your brain, like mine, is addicted to happiness. So why not party forever? Let's just revisit our favorite section of the song just for one last time. Don't believe me, just In smart person terms, the Zagarnik effect occurs when an activity has been interrupted leading people to cling onto memories of the activity until it has been completed or resolved. Your brain hates unfinished business. This is why catchy songs you don't know the name of stick in your head, because you're clinging onto it for a name. This is also why a child asks the same question on and on until you give it a satisfying answer. So how do you get a song out of your head? Believe me, just watch. Oh!